Stampers! Welcome to another week of Watch It Weekly Wednesday. I'm Aubrey, part of the Stampin' Jill Creative team, and today I want to share with you a technique that was shared by Stampin' Up! on Instagram. Um, I thought it was super fun, and I wanted to show you a card that I came up with using it. But first, let's start with the technique. So, I'm going to use the Penned Flowers dies. Um, I love these dies. I think they're super cute. You can use this technique with pretty much any die that you love, um, but I wanted to use these, um, specifically this super cute one um, with the flowers. So you can see it cuts out these flowers in a lot of detail, and then this one actually cuts out this one, you can see, okay? But what we're gonna first do is I'm going to cut a piece of, which I've already done, but you're gonna take a piece of basic white paper um, really any color paper, but I chose basic white and I cut it for this die to three and a half by two and a quarter. And then I'm going to take a piece of our adhesive sheets. These are super cool, a very cool product. Um, and I'm going to attach that to the basic white, um, piece. So it's, I cut it in the same size and I'm just going to take that and adhere it right onto that basic white piece like that, and with the other piece on there, so that it's covering that entire basic white piece, okay? Now, I'm gonna do three pieces just like this, and then I'm going, going to take them, and I'm going to use my detailed die cut, like I showed you, and run that through on the die cutting machine. Three times, so you'll have three different ones. And let me show you here. I've already done that. And this is what they come out like. So they have the white side. And then on the back is the adhesive. Do you see? Okay. And then you're going to peel this adhesive off of the back. Now, I've already done one of them here, just like that. I peeled it all off and then I stuck it right onto this back piece that I cut out with the bigger die. Okay, so that it has a kind of a base piece there. Do you see? And then I'm going to do that two more times. I'm going to peel off the sticky on the back of each of these, and then I'm going to stick them right on top of this other one. So let me show you how I do that. I'm going to take back here. I'm just going to start peeling off these pieces. And you can see it kind of all comes up together. Um, some of the little pieces remain in the die, but it pretty much all comes up together. And I'm just going to set my little piece, scrap pieces aside, just like this. Get all those pieces off. Okay, so I've got most of my big pieces out here, but you can see there's still a few little pieces in, um, kind of in these little dots here. So I'm just going to take my Take Your Pick tool. This is a great tool to use when you need to like pick little things out of a die and I'm just going to get all those little pieces out just like this and set them aside. The tricky thing is they're kind of sticky on the back too so they might kind of stick to you. They'll all come out. Okay just like that and then I'm going to take this and like I said I'm going to just put it right on top of my other die that I've already done that to and build right on top of it. Okay, so I'm just kind of building up that die so that it's a little bit raised off of the paper. And then we're going to take our next one and do the same thing, just set it right on top. So we have three layers of that intricate die, one on top of the other, okay? Just like that. You can see here, you can see here how thick it is now. So it kind of makes a little um, area that we're going to flood with our shimmery crystal effects. This is really fun stuff. It takes a minute to dry, but it dries really shiny and pretty, and it's so fun. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to. Um, pour it into each of my petals here so that they kind of shine. So cute. So just squeeze it out. 
Shimmery Crystal Effects is super fun. Crystal Effects has been around for a really long time. This one actually has a really cute glimmer in it. It has kind of a um, some glitter in the actual glue part so that it dries. It dries not only shiny from the crystal effects, but also with a little bit of like dazzling glitter. It's so cute. So just like that. And then I'm going to continue that into all of my other flowers, but I'm just going to show you the completed project here. Um, I can finish that later. Let me pull this in. Here it is that I finished with the hand pen set or suite of products. I love this technique. So much fun. I was so glad that Stampin' Up! shared it with us a few weeks ago um, and I needed to try it on my own card. So I've had so much fun playing with this and I hope that you can take it and make it your own too. So like I said, I saw this technique, this idea from Stampin' Up! on Instagram. They are on Instagram as we are too at Stamping Jill. So make sure you go and follow Stampin' Up! and Stamping Jill if you want other fun tips just like this. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next week for another Watch It Weekly Wednesday.